Earlier today, Trial Chamber 5A of the International Criminal Court acquitted the Deputy President, the Honorable William Ruto, and Mr. Joshua Arab Sang. The President welcomes the aforementioned decision, which reaffirms his strong conviction from the beginning about the innocence of the Deputy President. From the start of this case, the President believed that, there, that this case was ill-conceived and never grounded on the proper examination of the Kenyan experience of 2007-2008 as a nation. Over the last six years, the Deputy President, together with a number of other Kenyans, including the President, have endured a painful journey with the ICC. As individuals and as a country, we have, co uh, we have cooperated fully with the court and the Deputy President has, at the same time, also borne the heavy responsibilities of leadership while attending the hearings at The Hague. Today, the Deputy President has been vindicated. This decision brings to a close what has been a nightmare for the Kenyan nation. With the conclusion of this case at the ICC, our country is fully back on focus to enhance our efforts towards nation building, promotion, promoting peace and security. For the Deputy President and the President, this focuses fully on the affairs of running the state, a mandate given to the President and the Deputy President by the Kenyan people. As Kenya welcomes this decision, Kenya, together with like-minded nations, will remain seized of the efforts geared towards the pursuit of justice and equitable participation in the international justice system. As a nation, we recognize our duty to and respect for international law and international institutions. We will therefore continue to pursue ways to improve the delivery of international justice, uphold the rule of law, and promote a just and fair global order. Each and every Kenyan was touched by the tragedy that befell our nation in 2007-2008. Each and every victim of this unfortunate happening matters. Not one of them has been forgotten. Their suffering demanded of Kenyans, as a of Kenyans and the President as a leadership to seek reconciliation. The Deputy President and the President campaigned and were elected on a platform to unite and reconcile their motherland. When the Kenyan people entrusted the leadership of the country to this administration, they made the President and Deputy Re President responsible for the healing and reconciliation of the Kenyan people. Kenya has come a long way since the dark days of 2008. We have made peace, we have given ourselves a new constitution and a new political order. We have resettled and compensated many victims and continue to respond to the outcomes of that unfortunate period of our history. The President invites each and every Kenyan to double their efforts in building our nation. When the ICC case against the President was dropped, he told Kenyans that he would not celebrate until the all the cases had been terminated. So today, the President calls upon all Kenyans of goodwill to join him and the Deputy President at Afraha Stadium, Nakuru, on Saturday the 16th of April this year for a Thanksgiving service. This will be an opportunity for prayers for healing, reconciliation, and unity of Kenya as the Kenyan people push on the path of inclus inclusive prosperity for all. Thank you.